Okay, up until this point, we've been using a, a REST client to configure uh, ACI. But what if you know we could start stepping up to be a little bit more advanced and use some other tools? So in this demo, I want to actually show you how to make use of Python uh, as a tool to configure APIC. Now, the good news here is if you're a networking person and not a programmer like me, um, you don't need to know how to write Python because there are tools out there that will actually generate a Python script for you. So one of those tools that I want to highlight here is something called ARIA, A-R-Y-A. And if you go onto GitHub uh, and you search for ARIA, the first one here under Data Center ARIA will show up. This was actually written by a few people from Cisco. And what it actually does is it takes XML or JSON config that we save from APIC, like our tenant attacker, and runs it through a tool and actually generates a Python script for you. So you don't need to know how to write Python in order to use Python if you have a, a tool like this. So if you uh, make sure that you read the install instructions because there's a couple of dependencies here. It's not very hard. He, he calls it out. It's, it's quite easy. Um, there is one thing that you have to have also installed is the Cobra SDK, which is a, a different... Uh, a different package. If you search for Cobra SDK in GitHub or Cisco.com, there's a set of short instructions on how to get it and how to easily install it. It's not that hard to do. So I've already taken the advantage of downloading both Cobra SDK and ARIA, and I've already run the install instructions, uh, and we're going to go ahead and, and do it. So um, ARIA is a, is a command line tool, so I'm going to go into, into my terminal, and I'm actually in the ARIA directory. If I just type ARIA, just to show you, um, it says, well, you've got to give me some arguments. You've got to tell me what file you want me to parse. Optionally, you've got to tell me the IP address of your APIC and your login credentials. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to type ARIA at minimum minus F, and I'll go ahead and take the hacker.json that we saved a little bit earlier, and I'll drop it here. I am going to use the, uh, the, uh, uh, the other optional things for IP address and login, and I'll show you why I think that's useful. Um, so let me go ahead and type that information in. Um, if I were to type return right now, um, it would show me my script right in the standard out, so right in my terminal, but, but I don't really want that. So I want to redirect uh, to, um, uh, to a file. So I'll call this one hacker.py. .py is the extension for a Python script. So I'll go ahead and hit return. And if we look, there's my hacker.py. So at this point, we need to go into your favorite editor of choice uh, and make some minor modifications. Now, this is by design. I'm using PyCharm, so I'm actually going to go ahead and open hacker.py, uh, and I'll just point out a few things. Uh, at the top of the script is, is your original JSON or XML code. Now, this is all commented out, so don't worry about it. You can leave it there or you can delete it. Um, the next thing to point out is the author of the tool has purposely built in an error because he wants you to review the code before you execute it. That's just good practice. So you want to make sure you go in and you delete those lines or comment them out. I'll just go ahead and delete them. Um, the next thing I want to point out is this particular line here. Notice it actually has specific login and IPs of my APIC. Now that's because I used the arguments in the ARIA command line to do it. If you didn't put those arguments in the command line, that's okay. You can actually go in here and fill in the proper information for your particular environment. There's one last thing I want to point out, and I'll call this a little bit of a glitch, a little bit of a bug. Um, this is the configuration of, of my tenant. Okay, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, but towards the bottom, the second to the or the first to the last line, or I guess whatever you call it, um, he's actually committing something called Paul.uni. And normally that, that used to work, but in recent versions of APIC code, for whatever reason, it doesn't work. Uh, what you have to do is, right where it says build whatever you're trying to build, um, take that first object, in this case it's called FV tenant, and copy it and replace it there. And that will actually get it to work. And now, kind of apologies for that, that's just until the, the tool is fixed and we, you, know, you have to do this kind of thing, so don't worry. The other thing is, um, he has a function here to print. It'll actually print out on your screen the output of the file. I like to comment that out to keep things clean. So I'll go ahead and, and save that. Um, now, back to my terminal. So if I were to type python hacker.py, let's go ahead and just show you that if we go back to APIC, there is no tenant called hacker. Uh, so if I were to launch that script, um, it's actually going to give me a warning. Uh, but that's okay because I'm using HTTPS and I've got a self-signed certificate. 
uh, but the result here is that, yep, there's Hacker, there's my description, everything is good. If you didn't want to uh, show that warning, you could type W and you could type ignore, and uh, it will actually run the script without giving you the self-signed cert, cert warning, but just a little a little tip there. But, but think about it, that you could do this for any part of your ACI config, for your tenants, for anything. You can take, in fact, a whole working fabric download the config, run it through ARIA, create your Python script, and let's say you were going to go to a different customer tomorrow, you could very quickly find and replace you know, tenant names or IPs and then just play the script back and literally in a matter of seconds you could potentially have a whole ACI fabric up and running uh, you know, in, in the best possible conditions. But, but that's a, a very easy example. So now you can confidently say you are a Python programmer because you have a tool like ARIA and of course your customer doesn't really know that we're, we're copying and pasting.